Well, first on Local 22 tonight, Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger delivered his State of the City address and three new city councilors were also sworn in. Local 22's Devin Bates was at City Hall and joins us now live in the studio with a recap. Devin? Well, Glenn, with the progressive shift in the city council, Mayor Weinberger said he's hoping to continue to find common ground on issues like climate change, the opioid crisis, and Burlington's housing shortage. I am proud to report that the state of our city is very strong and for the seventh year in a row, stronger than it was one year ago. Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger was confident in the city's direction as he took to the podium Monday night to deliver his State of the City address. Three new councillors were sworn in as progressives Jack Hansen and Perry Freeman took their seats along with Democrat Franklin Paulino. The essential ingredient for our progress in this room has been collaboration. As we enter a new chapter with a new city council, I want you all to know, and you all to know, that I remain committed to this way of working together. Weinberger said collaboration has been the key in Chittenden County's fight against the opioid crisis and announced a new program that deepens law enforcement's involvement in preventing overdose deaths. Starting tomorrow, we will have social workers in the police department screening RSTs for addictions, including opioid use disorder and offering immediate access to treatment to those who screen positive before they are released. Weinberger also touted the sale of Burlington Telecom, highlighting the $7 million in taxpayer funds that was returned to the city. He also announced where some of that money will be going. To eliminate the property tax increase plan for next year, making good on our commitment to voters to use only the new tax authority that they granted us in March if we needed it, and two, to replace our nearly obsolete fleet of sidewalk plows. Lastly, he tackled the housing shortage in Burlington and announced a housing summit in May with hopes of having draft ordinances ready by October on a long list of possible reforms. Our downtown parking policies, rule changes to create more accessory dwelling units throughout the city, increased funding of our local housing trust fund, short-term rental policies, and updates to protect renters from unreasonably and wastefully high utility costs. Now, Mayor Weinberger also doubled down on the city's plans to bring in rental e-bikes and e-scooters by this summer, despite some backlash from residents. Also tonight, the council's only Republican, Kurt Wright, was unanimously elected to continue serving as city council president. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 22 News. All right, thank you, Devin.